In this video, we will look at the types of log statements that we can print to the console in Unity. The most common use of debug log statements is to print a message to the Unity console, but developers can also print out warnings and errors to the console. This can be useful for a variety of reasons. For example, if you are building a custom tool in Unity and you want to log an error to the console if the user improperly uses your tool, you can log the error in the same manner as Unity would, with a red error icon and detailed error message. To print a message to the Unity console using debug log, you type debug.log and inside of the parentheses you type a string value to print to the console, for example, hello world. To log a warning to the console using debug log, you can use a variation of the debug log statement by typing debug.log warning and passing the warning message as a string into the parentheses. To log an error to the console using debug log, you can use another version of the debug log statement by typing debug.log error and passing the error message as a string into the parentheses. Another feature of Unity that makes using these variations of debug logs so useful is that Unity allows us to filter the type of logs our console displays by toggling on and off buttons in the upper right hand corner of the console window. By default, all three buttons are toggled on. If the first button is toggled on, messages will be printed to the console such as those printed with statements like debug log and print. If the second button is toggled on, warnings will be printed to the console. Warnings are non-fatal but useful messages to the developer. One common use of warnings is to warn the user about a deprecated function and letting them know the updated function that they should be using. If the third button is toggled on, errors will be printed to the console. Errors are logged when a serious issue crops up in the code. Errors can crash the program and cause incorrect behavior. It is important that all Unity developers know how to log messages, warnings, and errors to the console. You should also know when it is appropriate to use each of these in the context of your program to communicate with the end user or developer using your tool. Using these variations of the debug log statement can add a nice touch to your assets you may be building for the Unity Asset Store and can make your tool that much more professional.